Hey guys, I'm Tori Shulman. This is Hoppy Hour. Happy <laughs> New Year! This episode of Hoppy Hour is brought to you by Beach City Brewery, located in Huntington Beach, California. These guys serve their beer in a laid back surf city style. You can find them where the brew meets the beach. Happy New Year, everyone. We have this great hat, these great lights, this terrible looking styrofoam thing here. Uh, we all have resolutions for New Year's. Mine is to actually stop drinking beer. So today we'll be tasting three different waters from three different faucets. <laughs> That's an awful show. We're actually just kidding. We'll be doing beer, and this one we'll be doing cold brewed beers, which is actually a misnomer. It's not the water that's cold that it's being seeped in, it's actually just being fermented in colder temperature than normal beer. Let's get cold. Tonight's forecast, a freeze is coming. So today we'll be starting with a very well-known beer. It's called Newcastle, disembodied hand, always on the ready. So Newcastle is from 1927. It's originated in the UK. It's got an ABV of 4.7%. It actually has a cute little nickname. It's called The Dog. Let's take a look. So you have this really nice, like, loamy, really dark, amber-looking ale. It's got a nice caramel, malty, almost toasty scent. Very, very malty, not a lot of hops at all. And it's not that strong. This is sort of for the working class after a hard day. You can enjoy this, have plenty of them. It's not too bitter at the end. So if you like kind of a less hoppy beer and more of a malty, toasty beer, Newcastle, baby. Now, if I had to pair that with a fad diet, like we all start on January 1st, I'm gonna go with Weight Watchers. Working class, everyone does it. Not everyone succeeds. You can do it with these three new Weight Watchers workouts. Fun fact for the day, there's actually a crater on the moon called Beer. It's where the astronauts have a good time at the space bar. <laughs> Allow me to break the ice. Our second cold brewed beer is Scheinerbach. Scheinerbach is from Spetzel Brewery from 1909. It's got an ABV of 4.4% and an IBU of 13. So we're not talking bitter here at all. So they actually made this beer as a Lenten beer, which means it was used during Lent so that while you were fasting or not eating as much, you had a nice hearty beer. So let's give it a taste. Oh man, I want a roast chicken. That's what it tastes like. It's like a roasted barley malt. There's a little bit of a German hop finish, but it's very malty, very roasted. Got that smoky kind of flavor. So if I had to pair this with some kind of fad diet, I would go with the paleo diet. It's like where people try to eat just what the caveman used to eat. I feel like a caveman, if he wanted to have a beer, he'd have one like this. And I'd say, ooh, which is caveman for cheers. Cool party. <laughs> now it's time for wild card, disembodied hand. Looks like blood. Let's hope it's not. Some kind of wine. It's kind of got a tart taste. I'm gonna go with a Merlot. Oh God. It's a Paso Robles. I was off. It's much bigger than an actual Merlot. It might need a little breathing room. It's nice and dark and earthy. This feels very much like I got it out of a cave. I'm enjoying this immensely. Cheers. Winter has come at last. That's it for this episode. As always, thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Any questions or comments or any beer that you want me to try, put it in the comments below. I'm Tori Shulman. This is Hoppy Hour. And remember, always drunk responsibly. I freeze. I see winter fiber frozen. I see freeze winter ice. I see freeze winter winter freeze cold frosty.